another project. Nick has been looking forward to this one coming into the shop. Rolling in on the flatbed today is a very rare 1970 Dodge Coronet RT convertible. Look at that. Look at the filter, rush that out. Pump is gone, alternator is gone. The Subaru looks original. Air cleaner, check this out, it's all genuine. This is a rare piece. Ram air, look at that. Oh, this would be a nice project. Oh yeah. This is a car you restored to original. How many uh, pieces did you say they make? 16. 16 cars? Yep. 16 Come like this. Convertible, four speed, four speed, four. It's a Hemi four speed. Yes, 18 spy. Yes. All four 46 packs of Hemi's that came with the 18 spy with the data. Wow. It's got the big pad also, I believe. 16 units. The car's owner, Joe, tells Nick that this coronet survived the last two decades sitting inside a school bus in a wrecking yard while it waited for the previous owner to get around to a rebuild that never happened. Over the years, a few parts have gone missing, but all the important stuff is still here. Joe wants Nick to rebuild the original 440 while he gets the body restored. So he pulls out the classic pistol grip shifter and unbolts the original optional Carter carb as he prepares to pull out the block. What we got here is a 1970 Coronet with a 440 engine. Looks like it was sitting in a bowling yard for about 20 years and it looks like it's an unmolested car. So it's gonna be a nice job. So we're gonna start by pulling it out and uh, take it from there. Nick would love to be the first person to get into this 440 since Chrysler put it together five decades ago. From what he can see on the outside, it's looking very stock. in our hands. Time to strip down this baby. 
Mopar spark plugs. Check it out. These are old. I can't wait to take off a cylinder head to see what's in there. Well, let's start removing the intake manifold, valve covers, exhaust manifolds, cylinder heads, and see what we got. There we go. Everything's hard and dry. So hard and brittle that uh, seems to be original to the car. Oh, it is over 40 years old. Let's take off the distributor. There we go. Next. There's a few bolts missing already, as I can see. Okay, take this one out. This is a cast iron intake manifold. It's also original piece. Probably some people saying, hey, when you guys use an impact? It's a lot faster. I'm old school. I'm in no rush. Let me just take it off slowly and observe what we're doing here. Oh, two bolts. I got two bolts that were missing on the intake manifold. Now I know where they are. And I realized something. From what I see here, uh, after we remove the intake manifold, it looks like this motor's been uh, tampered with. You see this intake gasket? This should have fumes from uh, when the motor was painted. As you can see, it doesn't have any. So this is a good indication that the uh, intake gasket's been replaced. For what reason, we don't know, but we're gonna find out as we uh, di start dismantling uh, this engine. So, let's go further in and see what happens. Now we're going to see the push rods and the lifters and part, and part of the camshaft. Seems like everything's original under the valve cover. The lockers are all original. Head bolts, locker shafts, locker bolts. Well, so far everything looks original. Let's keep going further in. Very nice. It's snowing peanuts. Wow, what was living in there, Lizzie? Wow, there's a nest, eh? Check it out. Yeah, it has been sitting for a while. Anything broken? Nope. Everything's there. Anything alive? No creatures on this side. Well, now we use the gun. Oh, what do we got here? These heads have been removed before. Aftermarket head gaskets. The head gaskets are the smoking gun. This engine has been opened before, at least for a valve job. Here's evidence that the, the head was being removed. Just by looking inside here, all the exterior head bolts are painted orange. As you can look in there, there's one that's orange. That tells you that this engine has been opened up before. Take out the old pump drive. Here we go. That seems like it's good. Oh, here okay. we go. Tip it over towards you. Mm -hmm. the dipstick. God, look what's living in there, buddy. These creatures are all over inside there, right? There. So it's perfect. Look at that. Apart from some Mopar-loving mice, nobody has spent much time inside this Coronet's block. The internal dimensions and components are all stock and appear to be in decent shape. See how this is run parallel? Yeah. On a regular 440, this narrows in, and uh -huh. this widens over here. This is a copy of a hemi rod, exactly, straight. See? 
So he's got real six bike rods in this thing. Very, very nice. Now they'll send the engine for a dip in the hot tank. The next time we see it, it'll be getting bolted back together in Nick's engine room before moving on to his dyno for break-in and final testing. You don't want to miss it.